Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How may I help you? I got a voicemail to call this number, but my Social Security number being suspended due to some reasons. Hello? Yes, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Social Security Administration, how can I help you? I got a, a voicemail. I called to call this number. I called it, you know, guy like couldn't hear me or something. I don't know. Okay, sir. Can you help me out with your name? Yeah, it's Dwayne. D U A N E. Last name. Dwayne. Dwayne. Last name's Devane. D E V A N E. Dwayne Devane. Okay, well. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I keep getting disconnected. I, I was talking to some guy and they got disconnected. Okay. Help me with your first name and your last name so that I can, I, I can help you. Dwayne, D-U-A-N-E. Dwayne? Dwayne. D-U-A-N-E. -E. Okay. Okay. And your last name? Devane. D-E-V-A-N-E. Okay. Now, Dwayne. Help me with your last four digit of your social security number. Only last four digit. Last four? Digit of your social security oh. number. Only last four digit. 9835. 9835. Please stay online, Dwayne, as I'm pulling out a case file from my system. So please stay online, okay? Okay. Dwayne, up till now, what you come to know about this case? Just the message I got. It said something about... There's something wrong with my social security number. Suspicious or something. Okay. Okay. The reason behind my call is to notify that your social security number has been found for criminal and fraudulent activity in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to Texas? I live in Texas. You live in Texas? Yeah. This investigation is started by the law enforcement agencies under your name and under your social security number when they have found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. Make and model was Toyota Corolla with the VIN number TX2400. I have a Toyota this Corolla. Car, that's, what, that's what kind of car I have. No, but this car was rented under your name and under your social security number. Okay, what's that mean? and drugs has been found inside the car okay well they're so not do mine you know, do you do you do you know anything about it well no i got my car my car's in my driveway so how it happened how do i know how it happened i don't know my 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 car is in my driveway and it is found at the address of 7609 claremont avenue el paso texas zip code is 75089 i live in dallas Okay. So do you have any properties rented under your name or under your social security number in the state of Texas? Yeah, I live here. So do you have any properties rented? Well, I got a rental property in Dallas. Okay. When we have done further investigation, we found out five properties which was rented under your name and under your social security number. It was rated by the Texas State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshal Department. Unfortunately, there was no one available at the residence, but we have found some documentation which related to banking institutions like BOA, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank, TD Bank, Regions Bank, and from this account, $236,789 has been wired locally and internationally, which is totally suspicious to us. This money has been wired to narco-trafficking countries and for criminal activity. Now, have you ever lost your wallet, Dwayne? No. Have you given your personal information to your friends, family members, relatives? Well, no. They wouldn't have that. Okay. Right now, somebody has an access to your personal information, which is the biggest concern. So, based on trial of evidence, we have got three serious allegations against the culprit. So, now, you, on you, there are three serious allegations. One is money laundry. Second is theft by deception. Third is misleading government information. So now State Courthouse of Texas has decided to suspend your social security number. What? Because we have an accused... Because we have you, accused uh, trial... Uh, you can't do that. Because we have an accused trial of suspicious information in custody. Tomorrow morning we are going to fix your appointment with two government offices. 
before that we need to differentiate which is your true information and which is fake for that we are going to transfer your call to the US Marshal Department agencies so now joining now help me with your current address so that I can send two officers to your place and they will give you a new social security number they will issue you a new social security number because we got an order from a higher authority to suspend your social security number on an immediate basis okay Danny so yeah. now help me with your current help me with your current address 1840 Fancher Drive Dallas Texas 75218 1840 after that Fancher Drive Fancher Drive Dallas okay. Texas Dallas Taxes and the zip code seven five two one eight seven five two one eight okay so now Danny I am just transferring this line to the US Marshal Department agencies they will guide you what you have to do further okay so please stay online okay okay thank you for your patience your line has been transferred to the US Marshal Department this is officer Justin Miller with a batch ID number 740923 and may I know who I am talking to? Dwayne Devane. All right I believe sir you already talked to the officer and they're gonna provide you all the information regarding this call right? Yeah you said something about a Toyota Corolla and I have a Toyota Corolla but I didn't leave it anywhere. They didn't give you any information regarding this call sir? Oh, well, yes. what part you don't understand you can go ahead and ask me no he told me about the car in, a, in Texas and uh, a Toyota Corolla and I live in Texas and I have a Toyota Corolla but my Toyota Corolla is in okay. the driveway okay let me give you this information sir that right now before we provide you the information let me ask you that have you lost your wallet or have no, you ever I told the other guy didn't lose information? It. No, I told the other guy no nobody's got my information okay that's the completely thing so I think that this is the matter of identity theft somebody use your name and your social security number for criminal and fraudulent activities in the state of Texas El Paso they find they hire a, a car which is you know that the car which is Toyota Corolla black color of that car I, my, and my car is that black car for my Toyota is black I got black Toyota Corolla, your Toyota is also but black. mine's in my driveway okay your driver drive your car right I drive my own car and it's in my driveway so I don't know what they're talking about this other car okay so the car was registration number which is a TX2440 that's your car no not 2440 no okay that's the reason sir we found a Toyota black color of that car but the car registration number which is 2440 that's the car using for money laundering and drug trafficking when the sheriff get the car they find inside the car blood drugs and some kind of different different bank documents that bank banks using for money laundering for narco trafficking countries and the car was registered under your name and under your social security number wow. so as the pro investigation is going to be on and you are the as as I told you the investigation is still going on and you are the primary suspect why am I a suspect we, my car is in my driveway I told but, you but as I told you that the car was registered under your name I only have one car and, registered under my name and the phone call made to you just to check your past good records that shows you are a law-abiding citizen and you don't have any criminal records in past am I right well no I got a criminal record in the past but I've done nothing recently I'm 69 now when I was younger I got in a little That's, trouble did a little time in Folsom that, but I was young uh-huh it's this guy That's in the head the with a beer battle me. and uh, geez he made a big deal out of it you know how they are Oh. that that's the reason sir we give you a call 
to notify you so at least you will safeguard your information which is truly belongs to you because right now we don't know that which is your true information and which is your fake information and you have to understand that part once we cancel your social security number whatever you have linked with your name and under your social security number will be frozen and confiscated by the US Treasury Department well, right why would you take my money why don't you take their money sir you have to understand that part that car was registered under your name and you are the it's primary suspect. It's not my suspect. car. I don't have a car, TX2440. So have you understood that part? What part? I, I don't understand any of this because my car is in my driveway. I know that. But how you can prove that? Do you have any proof that you prove inside Mommy the whole house you that, you, of it? I don't that know. you are I'll... not doing this thing? I'm not doing No, I'm not doing You are it. not involved you. in this thing? Listen, I was in Folsom. But I'm done with all this stuff now. So that's the reason I'm telling you. So at least you will safeguard your information which is truly belongs to you. And I'm going to fix an appointment tomorrow morning. Whatever time you will be free, the officers going to come at your place and they're going to provide you a I new social wanna, security I, I card. I don't want officers coming to my place. So what do you need to do? I don't know. You tell me. I told you, but you told me that you don't want any officer come at your place. I can place. meet him someplace. I don't so want that, him coming to my house. I want. I don't want the neighbors seeing officers that's coming to my house. That's com that that's completely fine. Okay. I'll meet so him somewhere. Whatever. Okay, you can I'll meet, meet him at Tim Hortons. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's completely fine. All right. Okay. What time you want me to meet him? Okay. Whatever time you will be free tomorrow, About day after tomorrow. Ten o'clock tomorrow morning. That's completely at, at Tim Hortons. Okay. On the corner of France and Belgium Street. Okay, that's completely fine. But first thing first, we have to file a ADR, which is called Alternate Dispute Resolution. In ADR, we have to fill your true assets, which is truly belongs to you. So I will submit that information to the State Courthouse of Texas, and a State Courthouse of Texas is gonna hire a federal attorney for your case. That particular attorney will help you out in... What do I need an attorney okay. for? I didn't do anything wrong. As I give you the information, you have to just verify me your true information. The address which you verify with us, that's your own house or you pay rent? No, this is my house. How long you are staying that address? About 50 years. Okay, how many vehicles you have under your name i have How a toyota have? corolla i told the other guy i got a black toyota corolla okay and how many financial institutions you are dealing with one I just deal with one may bank. i know your bank huh? may i know your bank name sperm bank how do you spell out the name s p e r m b a n k how long you are dealing with Sperm Bank? I've been making deposits there for years, for years. Okay, what kind of account you have in Sperm Bank? I have a checking and a savings. Approximately, what's the balance you have in your checking account? I think it's about, probably about 700. And what's the balance you have in your saving account? Well, I just made a deposit in that, so that's 2500 I know that. Okay, apart from Sperm Bank, do you have any other bank account? Nope, just Sperm Bank. It's the only bank I deal with. Been okay, with them for years. Kind of credit? Huh? Okay, do, do you hold any kind of credit card? Yeah, I got a visa through the Sperm Bank, too. It's, it's a not a debit card. I'm talking about a credit card. Yeah, it's a visa, credit card. What's the limit on that credit card? 5000 And how much you use that credit card? It's paid off. I don't owe anything on it. It's, the balance is still available in your credit card, $5,000? Yes. You don't use that credit card? I do use it. I pay it off every month. That's what you're supposed okay. to do. So the bal you're not supposed to carry a balance. Yes, yes. You're supposed to, that's how you have a good yes. credit rating. My credit rating yep, yep, is like 37 because I pay it yep, off every that, month. I do understand. Yes, we know that you paid every month, but sometimes 
the limit is 5,000. Suppose I have a credit card and I use that credit card uh, for $1,000. So the balance is left in my credit card $4,000. That would I am asking you. You pay the bill and you don't use that credit card. The balance is still available in $5,000, right? Yeah, but I use it, but I pay it off every month. Okay. Apart from that thing, do you have any kind of investment, any 401k, 403, any stocks, any bonds? I got a 827 account too at the sperm bank. What kind of account you have? 827. Okay. What's the value of that account? 10000 But I can't take it out because that's a, I'll be a severe penalty if I take it out. Okay. You don't have any investment, any retirement fund, any stocks, any Well, yeah, bonds. that's what the 827 is for. Plus, I get a retirement okay. anyways. So, I mean, I get a retirement in Social Security. Okay. And who do you stay with, sir? You live alone or you stay with your family? No, I live alone. My wife. You live alone. or Does my wife count? You live with your wife. Yeah. Okay. So, the line which we are talking to you, it's your cell phone or it's your home phone? My cell. That's your cell phone number? Yeah. <laughs> All right, right Pally. <laughs> are you talking to me or your wife? No, I'm talking to the parrot. Quiet, Pally. <laughs> I don't know where he gets that language. Jeez, shut up. Okay, go ahead, jeez. Okay, sir, are you there? Yeah. Can you give me a moment so I will submit your information to the state courthouse of taxes? Okay. So the information which you provide me, okay? Okay. Be online, I'm going to come back very soon and provide you the information, okay? Yes, I'll be here. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Do you need huh? help me with your financial institution where you're dealing help me with your bank name what exactly your bank name sperm bank spell it for me s p e r m b a n k but as i'm saying in uh -huh. us there is no any kind of in us there is no any kind of sperm bank is there there's sperm banks all over the place i don't know where you're looking no but it is just a moment Oops, excuse me. Can you hear me? Yes. Do any, there is no any kind of bank such name as Spam Bank. Well, I'm sorry. I've been a depositor there for years. What you're depositing, your spam or your money? Huh? My money? What are you talking about? So, but it is not so showing in my system there is no any kind of bank in the U.S. The what? name. Well, I can't help that if it doesn't show in your system. I can give you the routing number if you need it. Maybe that'll help you. you want me to get a check and look what at the routing kind of number? Routing number? Huh? What kind of number you have told me? The routing... You don't know what a routing number is? And you work for uh, the government? Administration. <laughs> Officer John Smith, how can I help you? Yeah, I was talking to Justin Miller and I got disconnected. Can I? Can you help me out with your first and your last name so I could try and pull up your file and see who called you and what was the reason behind it the call? It was Justin Miller. I know, I just told you who called me. Justin Miller, I was talking to him. He had some kind of long fucking badge number. I didn't get that. Just a second, hold the line. Let me just pull up your file. Can you help me out with your first name? Dwayne. It's Dwayne, right? Dwayne. D-U-A-N-E. Dwayne. But I cannot find someone reg uh, registered to this number. Sorry, I cannot... Justin you. Miller. I was talking to fucking Justin Miller. Put him on the fucking phone. So, so what does it say? What does Put it him say on the you? fucking phone right what now or I'll come over there and punch you right in the fucking nose. What conversation did you have with Justin Miller? Justin Miller, I was giving him my bank information, and the fucker, I got disconnected. I don't, they're going to cancel my fucking social security, you moron. Hurry up. Just a second. Okay. 
How many addresses are linked with your social security number? One. I told the other guy all this shit. How many cars do you have under your position? One. It's a black Toyota Corolla. And I know they found a black Toyota Corolla down on the border, but it's not mine. We fill that asset verification form once again, so please help me. How many bank accounts do you own? One. And how much do you have in your savings account? 2500 I've gone through all this shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. And in your checkings? 700 And in which bank do you have these respective accounts? The sperm bank. In the sperm bank? Yes. Just, just a second, hold the line. Okay. All right, we cannot help you as you are a culprit. The local county sheriff department will be at your... Hey, scammer. 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 Okay. You scamming bastard. You benchoed, Ben Colodi. Bill Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, put Justin Miller on the phone. I was talking to him. I got disconnected. Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, so I, I was talking to Justin Miller. I got disconnected. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? What is wrong with you people? I'm, ta I'm talking to Justin Miller. He keeps on calling back and everybody keeps on fucking hanging up on me. What's the matter? Do you... Have you talked before? Yeah, I talked before. And then I give them my information. I got disconnected. They're going to cancel my fucking Social Security and I can't get back to anybody. Okay, well, do you know his name? To whom you're speaking with? Justin Miller. How many fucking times I got to tell you? Justin Miller. Yeah. Okay, well, just give me a moment, all right? Put him on the fucking phone. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? This is Officer John Smith, how can I help you? Can you speak up? I can't hear you. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. This is Officer John Smith. How can I help you? I got a voicemail to call this number about my Social Security card. Something wrong with the number or some fucking thing. I don't know. Can you help me out with your name so I could try and pull up your call and see who called you and what was the reason behind the call? Yes. My first name is Phil. P-H-I-L. Last name's Lacio. L-A-T-I-O. Okay, the reason behind my call is to know... Talking? Part. I can't hear you. What do you got, a goat dick in your mouth or something? <laughs> Social Security Administration, how can I help you? I got a message. Call this number. And my... my oh, you fuckers. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? I'm Batman. 